Hey guys, it's Shelby and welcome back to my channel. If you are not new, but if you are, make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So today we're going to get into three ways you can naturally lighten your hair and we're also going to talk about my personal DIY recipe that I have been using for the past two or three summers. So many of you guys have been leaving me messages and comments on Instagram saying how jealous you are that I live in Texas and I've already started my garden and it's so warm here and I guess it is nice. I wouldn't know because I've never lived up north. I don't feel your pain of how cold it might be or how snowy it is but I do know that eventually sometime soon we are all going to be getting into spring and summer and for some reason that makes me feel like my hair should be a lighter color if you guys are not new to this channel then you would know that I have dyed my hair a ton not since I've been on YouTube I haven't dyed my hair since I've been on YouTube but I have shared before that my hair has been red it has been bleach blonde it has been almost black I've been all over the spectrum as far as that goes and about two or three years ago I I stopped dyeing my hair altogether because of how harmful those chemicals are, not only to the environment, which is obviously a huge concern for me on this channel, but it's also really bad for your health. They have endocrine disruptors in that stuff that they use to lighten your hair. It's really bad for your brain, and it's just all around not something I want to be participating in. It's very toxic. So I stopped dyeing my hair because of that, even though I do love to have light hair. You might see some of my highlights within my hair, but most of those are from me doing the things that I'm going to talk about today so let's go ahead and get into it so I think the first method is the one that most people already know about the one that maybe a lot of you have heard and it is lemon juice now maybe you don't understand why lemon juice works or how it works so I want to talk about that so that you don't think it's just BS I'm throwing out there the way lemon juice works is actually more thanks to the Sun than the lemon so the Sun naturally bleaches things I don't know if you guys have noticed this but if you leave plastic out in the Sun like I remember when I was a kid we had plastic play toys and the tops of them would always be white and it was from bleaching from the Sun you can do this naturally with your white clothes you can do this naturally with cars my sister's car is having that issue and you can also do this naturally with your hair and this isn't just actually for lighter haired people because Madison as you guys know my fiance she is African American and so her hair is a dark brown it's not black but it's dark brown and you could see in her hair from when she used to be in the Sun a lot when she played soccer in high school the bottom of her hair was a much lighter color than the new growth at the top and that was due to her being outside so much and the Sun lightening it the only reason we say lemon juice is because it allows that process to happen faster so the reaction between the citric acid Acid, the UV rays and oxygen makes it happen a lot faster than it would just naturally in the Sun because who has time to sit outside literally all day to naturally bleach your hair with just the Sun not that many of us so the way to make that faster is to add lemon juice the next way you can lighten your hair is with chamomile tea. Now I think this is really cool because almost everyone has access to get themselves some chamomile whether you grow it yourself or you get it from the store. You just want to steep some tea in some water. Make it pretty concentrated so that you can put it in your hair. You don't want to make just weak chamomile tea like you might for your night's tea or something like that. You want to make it pretty strong so when you put it in your hair it is able to get to work. There is a compound or an aspect of chamomile called quercetin and this makes your hair not produce melanin so if you guys know melanin is what makes your skin or your hair or your eyes or any of those things colorful and what that part of the chamomile does is stop melanin from producing so if you're putting that on your hair it's obviously going to lighten it because more melanin means darker and less melanin means lighter so if you're adding chamomile tea to your hair it's going to lighten it naturally for you you can use the chamomile as a night mask you can mix it in with your conditioner you can use it out in the Sun like you do with lemon juice you can do all of those things with it and it will lighten your hair naturally just one last tidbit if you are going to use this method please try to find loose leaf chamomile tea this is going to be a lot more eco-friendly because if you guys don't know a lot of people think that the tea bags the little tea bags that come in single servings are compostable but most of them actually are not they have a plastic lacing around the tea bag and that's why your tea bag doesn't just completely fall apart when you put it into warm water a lot of people have been finding little plastic cages of tea bags in their compost because that part is plastic so even if it comes in a tin box or a, a plastic box or whatever it is 
it's going to be a lot better than using those little tea bags so I'll link one below in case you can't find loose leaf tea where you live and you can get it through there the last way is the one I recommend the least but it is probably the most effective and the most immediate results that you're gonna get and that is mixing hydrogen peroxide with baking soda so the way that this works is the hydrogen peroxide breaks a chemical bond within your hair Breaking that chemical bond allows you to either put color into your hair, so whenever you're trying to make your hair darker or color it, that is how they do it. They break that chemical bond, they add in the color, but you can also subtract color when you do that. So the baking soda here actually isn't doing any of the lightening, it's just mixing together with the hydrogen peroxide because if you just put hydrogen peroxide on your hair, it will evaporate pretty quickly and you won't see results. Whereas if you make a hair mask out of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda, that will clean your hair and it will also lighten it. With this method, I definitely recommend a lot of conditioning afterwards so that your hair doesn't get gross and frilly because like we said, we are breaking a chemical bond within your hair. So that's a little bit damaging, but if you want to lighten your hair without the really harsh toxic chemicals that come along with regular dyeing or lightening, then this is a pretty good way. Okay, well that was it for the three natural ways you can lighten your hair. And now I'm going to get into my DIY recipe that I'm going to be using to lighten my hair this summer. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. This recipe is going to include two of the things that we already spoke about, so you're going to need some lemons. I would say about three, because you want about a third of a cup of lemon juice. So get you some beautiful, juicy lemons, and then you're also going to want a bowl to put the lemon juice in, of course, common sense, but also you're gonna want a hand strainer. So they're pretty easy to find in secondhand stores, but if you can't find one, I'll list one below. You can pick one up on Amazon. It comes in handy for a lot of things around the kitchen, like oddly amount of things that I would never thought I would need it for but yeah if you need one pick it up these are pretty juicy lemons like I said I got that much juice out of one lemon so I was pretty impressed by that then you're gonna go ahead and move on to your chamomile tea so like I said try to get it in bulk then you can use one of these reusable strainers like I have so I just went ahead and added that to one cup of almost boiling water don't want it to be too hot but this is like cooled down just below boiling. You can let this steep for as long as you want. I let mine sit for about half an hour because the more concentrated it is, the more effective it's gonna be. Then once you've done those two things, you can go ahead and add them to your bottle. Now I didn't have one on hand that I could reuse, so I did go ahead and buy this one. Again, I will link it. But you're gonna wanna add your one cup of chamomile tea, your one third cup of lemon juice, and then the only other thing I added to this was a little bit of olive oil. I've heard that this has some lightening properties as well but more than that I put it in there so it could condition our hair and the only other thing you're gonna need than that is some UV rays that's right guys sunlight so I use this every summer I spray it in my hair this summer I'm just gonna be putting it in the bottom of my hair because I want to get that kind of ombre effect if you know what I mean and then you can just chill out in the Sun like the hippie that you are um, and let the Sun do its work excuse the dirt on my butt but that is it you guys if you recreate this please tag me on Instagram and if you're not already following me over there please go do so I love you so so much and remember until next time create the peace